which you're about to watch is another one of several clips in a series I'm creating to introduce my tutorial on um, boosting Excel, Excel productivity. You know, um, your ability to do data recording, analysis, and report generation as a business person, whether you're in paid employment or you're self employed or you're in some organization that's uh, maybe a, an NGO. The point is, I help people to become what you would call power users or advanced users. I mean, uh, there's the much more <laughs> advanced users than power users. Um, I'm an Excel Visual Basic Solutions developer. I'm highly skilled in this area, and some of the applications I develop are really, really, really sophisticated. But the average person does not need those kinds of solutions. You will see some of my other clips, videos, and that explain what I mean by sophisticated. What I'm I have here is a, a quick workbook tutorial that I created years ago for a gentleman who was a distribution manager in a certain organization. And what I taught him in this particular workbook lesson um, is something that I think virtually every person who handles data, especially when you have to deal with uh, fast-moving consumer goods, you know, like a brewery, um, maybe a company that deals in all these um, things like recharge cards and things like that. You know, and then you have to have handle inventory, large volumes of inde inventory. So that's what this is about. Um, using index match formulas and some product formulas to handle your dispatch. And they had a report they called the DOA. I don't want to go into that, but the point is, having studied the data in each client's um, business space, I developed solutions in terms of workbook applications, simply simple to sophisticated ones, from very uh, with varying degrees of manual to uh, manual use to automation and I, I make it available to them and then I teach them how to use them and I also teach them how to enhance those workbook if they're uh, workbooks if they're interested in this case this gentleman needed to generate certain reports on a routine basis I think it was weekly and there was always this preliminary data collection and then before he would organize the data and analyze and so I created this so this you could you can see here I created a column for you uh, first of all you there are certain rules about developing or designing your workbooks uh, and your worksheets okay you generally don't like to don't want to put your d data the raw data in the same spreadsheet or worksheet as your reports it's always smarter especially in your long-term interest to separate them into separate into different worksheets and then link them with formulas if you have to that's why we have this one we call the data sheet for the auto report. So here are all the raw data collected from the different. Yeah, now please note that these are actually um, dummy data, dummy data. So none of this is real. I, this was just used for the purpose of this demonstration, which actually is available as a download on my website somewhere. I can't remember where it is because that's the old website. So we had the parameter that had been measured in percentage, and then there was the volume, and then there were the values from each of the areas. You know, the in which they had. Um, a presence, the business presence, uh, I think factories, uh, sorry, uh, warehouses right around the country. Now you can imagine that the person who was a national distribution manager, this was something that was critical. In the Monday report, he would have to give a, 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 a one page summary report that captured all those uh, data we just saw in the data record. So this will be sent to him on in different through different channels some of it will be in uh, uh, through emails uh, some of it will be in uh, sheets that have been completed in the Lagos area or whatever and then he will type them into this table okay so this table was designed it's just for entries you just make your entries watch the um, formula bar there you can see that just entries now coming to this end what you find is that and I designed this interface for him uh, this is the interface of the report yes but what they had, they had to actually punch in data th themselves manually. This particular report is generated dynamically, automatically. So what I did was to, first of all, create a drop menu here. And how I created that is what, this is the whole idea of this. This is a kind of educational commercial. It's kind of advertisement for my tutorials. I sell these tutorials. I make them available so you can study them in the comf comfort of your home. 